Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Slider Havoc here, and yes, <clears throat> I'm just gonna go ahead and start off by saying I'm pretty stupid. I literally spent like the last five minutes building this guy right here, and I didn't realize that I wasn't recording, or at least I was recording, but at one point I hit my record button by accident and I stopped recording, and so that whole process was kind of, you know, well, moot now. But uh, basically, it's a pretty simple thing to make. Um, my puppy's licking the mic right now. Hi, bud. Hi. So, I have uh, the Eye of Ender. Really simple to make. The Lithium Crystals, I've got tons of them. Red Silver Repeater, we all know that. This is the only one that really took any kind of energy whatsoever because I had to make the uh, the Mark One circuit and then these guys, which are really, really simple to make. But I've got this uh, charging station. <clears throat> and the reason I have the charging station is because, as you can see, I am moving very, very slowly. As a matter of fact, let me see if I'm still... No, nope, they all fell out. I literally last night was a blood moon and I got ransacked, but I thought it was kind of fun because it's a robot. I don't take a lot of damage. Um, and my damage actually, like I get healed faster than they can do damage to me. So my heart's never really moved. So blood moon, not a huge issue. I, I was kind of happy about that. But uh, now I've got this charging station and I just need to have to be in proximity of it, I believe. Can I not like put you here? Do I need to... You know what? I'm just going to do this for right now. I don't even care what this looks like right now. <clears throat> I just want to get this put up. So let's do that. There we go. I should be in range. I should be charging. Yes, I am. Okay, so my charge is going back up. Because this whole uh, moving at 84% was not cool. I want my 168% speed back. So I need to charge up. Because today, we're going to go get our uh, gravitational anomaly and bring it over here. And actually set up our legit power station um, for probably the rest of the series. Because I, I don't see us needing much more power than what that's going to give me. So that's a that's a cool thing, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put these blocks back in. We'll just leave that guy sticking out the roof right now. I don't care. I mean, I, I'm close enough that I'm still getting my charge. So it's cool. Um, I found out I can super jump. Oh, if you hold shift and jump, it like gives you this cool power jump or whatever. So anyways, I'm charging up. <clears throat> I don't know if I put a battery in. You know what? I've got one of those over here. Let me go check. Um, there's these batteries. They're like high capacity batteries that I can put in and they help me keep a charge. And I don't know if those will charge up if they're on me. So I'm going to test that theory out real quick because my charge is almost full. Well, I'm up to 60 something percent now. Um, if this battery is on me, I don't know if it'll charge too. Because I haven't figured out how to charge these batteries yet. I haven't found, like, a charging station for the batteries yet. Whoa! They can't even really hurt me. Yeah, a little bit of damage. I'm not even swinging and they're struggling. Yeah, get away. You can't mess with me. I'm Robo Slider, yo. Oh, it is nighttime, though. So. The mobbies are out and about doing their thing. Alright, so we're going to go... And we're going to put this guy in here. We're going to see if this does charge up. It is charging. Sweet. So it charges if it's in me. That's really cool. So whenever I'm over in the, by the charging station, I see it drain my entire battery and then did that. Um, so that's cool. So I've got that, um, which gives me more battery. And that's, that's really cool. This is a high capacity battery. This holds, oh, a little over a million RF. Sweet. And I'm only at like 100K. So, so we've got power for a while. We're good to go. Is this my power jump thing? Ah, jumping while sneaking. Okay, so I never actually knew what it was, but that's cool. Whatever. Now I know. And uh, space-time equalizer. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, yes. So I don't get pulled into the gravitational anomalies. All right, so I'm up to about 20% there. This guy is at about 25%. So I think I've got enough power, at least for this episode, for what we want to do right now. Um, we want to go move that gravitational anomaly, but to do that... We have to go make these transposers, or teleposers, I think they're called. And uh, that's through blood magic. <clears throat> and the way I do that, we got to make the tier 4 altar. I have not seen a robot in full armor before. That's cool. Dude, you guys chill out. Stop hitting me. Whoa, you guys are doing some damage. Why are you guys able to do so much damage? You guys have never been that hard to kill before. Oh, because we're robots now? You think you can take me on? Asimo? Whoa, this guy had some life. Or some armor, one of the two. I think maybe coming up in a very 
future episode? Oh, hoo -hoo. you got my life way down. Come on, man. Chill out. Oh my gosh, how much life does he have? This is doing like decimals of damage to him. I wonder if becoming a robot, I become less... What was he wearing? He had titanium leggings on. Apparently that makes a difference. That must be some serious armor. Because <clears throat> that, that guy took a beating. Alright, anyways. Um, <clears throat> we are going to... Oh! What the frick? Ah! I'm getting frustrated. Sorry, I got sidetracked and got a text message and was trying to put my phone on silent when that just happened. Anyways, <clears throat> we need to build our, uh, one, two, three, four, I think I need, <clears throat> our tier four altar, or yeah, tier four altar, so we can make the teleposers, which all that stuff is over here, and if I remember correctly, all I need is a weak blood shard, you know what, let me grab a stack of these, just in case it's a whole stack, or not a stack, but uh, at least eight. I don't know if it's a one-to-one -one ratio. It has been a while since I've done the blood magic stuff. I don't know if it's a one-to-one -one ratio or if it's an eight-to-one ratio. And I, for whatever reason, I'm not taking the time to just look at the recipe right now. But super jump! That's really cool. Super jump. And then sprint. I still don't, can't run up blocks. So that's kind of sad. I thought I might be able to eventually run up blocks. But I don't have that ability. So I believe it's just one of these two, eight, no, just one. Yeah, oh, that's what it is. It's one to one, <clears throat> but I get 32 blocks. I remember I used to get a lot of those. Because if you've watched the Tragic Magic series, you know my entire uh, Blood Magic temple was basically made out of them. I mean, those, those blocks are everywhere. <clears throat> I had a ton of them. Whoa, whoa, throwing my hammer away. Get back here. I hate when I put my hands back on the wrong keys and end up over to my inventory. Oh, whoa, whoa, What's going on? You guys are going crazy right now. <clears throat> the blood moon was like two days ago. I need to chill out. Guess I don't have a lot of light over here. The glowstone's about the only light I have. I guess. Anyways. Um, so, yeah. So, I need to dig out a... Whoa. Okay. Can I get you guys to leave me alone? I need to dig out the section for the next altar, which is one over. And then, okay. So that is where that one's at. So I believe it's just one lower, I believe. And then it's going to be seven, what is it going to be? Seven, 14, 21, 28. I'm going to need 28 um, of those blocks, whatever they're called. I can't think of the name right now. Um, okay, so it's this row right here. Uh, which one are you? Yep, this row right here. So I'm going to need 28 of those ritual blocks. Not ritual blocks, but uh, blood runes. Yeah, I think that's what those are. The blood runes. And I think I have a good amount in my chest. Perfect. Perfect row. I don't know if I have 28 of them. I might have to make some more. I was making a lot of this stuff in between um, <clears throat> with last episode so I could do my uh, ritual and be able to get my uh, blood sword so I could start getting the weak blood shards. And it's all just a, a progress of everything I needed. It's like I needed one more thing to get one more thing to get one more thing. And it was just repetitious. Leave me alone. And... Uh, now we basically have everything we need. I just need to build it all. And uh, we'll get our teleposer, get our gravitational anomaly over here, and we'll be good to go. All right, so how many blood runes do I have in here right now? Not blood, what are they called? Yeah, they are blood runes. I have 17. I'm going to need 28. So let me start placing some of these down. And then I'll probably go make like the other 11 uh, off camera just because it takes a while to make them. Would you leave me alone? How did you even get in there? Leave me. Where do you go? Oh, there you are. I do love like the screen kind of glitz, glitching out. That's awesome. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? Did I place those right? Three and the four. Yes. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and get this all set up, and uh, I'll come back once it's all set up, and we will 
make what we need to make the teleposer and then we'll move the gravitational anomaly over here and we'll start getting our power system put together oh yeah you're not ho I forget that the spiders are not hostile during the day because they seem like they're just always always hostile anyways uh we'll be back when i go get more stone and uh get these blood runes built all right guys so we're back we've got everything built up um i've got the tank full and now we're gonna make this teleposer all right so the recipe for this thing is actually pretty simple it's a couple ender pearls with some gold ingots and then one of these guys and that's why we need the tier 4 altar because it's an ender pearl with 2000 gives us one of those so we're going to need two of these one for this or two of these and i need one for the focus itself <clears throat> which is like how we tell it where stuff to go so this should be pretty quick and easy to make but i'm going to go ahead and throw my ender pearls in real quick because we're going to need three of these and they should cook up pretty quickly I love how I would say cook up. I mean, technically, it was a furnace that we used to make the altar, right? So, yeah, it's cooking up. It's just cooking up with blood. <clears throat> so, we're going to make three of these. And do I have the gold on me? No, I put the gold in that chest. That was just silly of me. I shouldn't have done that. But, oh, well. All right. So, we've got two of those. And there's the third one. Throw my end. Uh, no, I'm going to take my ender pearls, put them back in the house. And drop off the rest of this garbage that I'm carrying around that I don't need right now. And we'll go get the gold. We should have the teleposers, and we should be able to move the gravitational anomaly right to where we want it. And uh, make our power station. It's going to be over by the power station. I'm not exactly sure where we plan on doing that, but it'll be over there. All right. <clears throat> so I need gold. And I'm going to go ahead and go up here, just so I can shift click into this table here. Uh, we want you. So we need one. Oh, what don't I have enough of? What don't I have enough of? Or does it... Oh, okay. It just won't do it because that thing's not there. Okay, cool. We got it. So we've got everything we need. Um, except I need a lever. That's what I need. I'm going to be... Um, nope, I don't have any levers. So let's grab a cobble. I don't have any... I don't have any cobble. Really? Okay, one and a stick. Okay, cool. And now we should be good. Oh, I still had stone on me, so it didn't really matter. I hate doing stuff redundantly. Like, ah, oh, it kind of frustrates me. I don't like doing that. I want everything to be perfect. Uh, I don't need the zombie head, zombie flesh, eye, more of those. Uh, oh, I had an extra blood room. Okay. Um, torches I do want for later. Dirt I don't need. String. Uh, oh, that's the block I broke earlier to put the power thing up there. You... Go good, good. I don't need you. Come on. Come on, go in the chest. There we go. And I think we have everything we need. Um, let me make the button real quick. And let's go decide where we're going to move this gravitational anomaly to. Let me tell you, it took me a while to figure this out. I was playing in single player for a couple hours trying to figure out exactly how I was going to be able to move this anomaly. But uh, once I found out that the teleposer for uh, blood magic worked, I was oh, awesome. I'm thinking with this being right here and my power plant being right here, if you've ever seen a nuclear power plant, it's got these big old domes or sometimes domes, sometimes almost like a, uh, a funnel can, can looking thing. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I'm thinking that's kind of what I'm going to go like a big smokestack, like those smokestacks are gigantic ones. And I kind of want to put it close by. So I think I'm thinking maybe right over here maybe like right in front i can clear these blocks out and we'll just put it right out in front uh, i'm not gonna sh this is more of the building stuff that i usually don't do on camera actually my creative process i guess you'd call it uh i don't know how creative of a process it is i'm not a very good builder by any means but anyways we're gonna go ahead and put this guy right here right that Right, and then we take this guy, we're going to right click on him, and that's basically marking the location of this. Now I'm going to go ahead and fly over to where the, uh, going this way, uh, fly over to where the anomaly is, and we will uh, hopefully send it, and everything will be good, so we'll be right back. There you are, my friend. How are you doing over here? Uh, 59, 66. Okay, so you've gotten a little bit bigger. I don't know. If that's just by chance or what but 
I'm going to need a couple, I don't know, is there gravel around here somewhere? Gravel, right there. Because I'm going to have to stack you guys up a little bit. And I guess I'm going to have to kill ourselves a creeper spider. Whoa, whoa. Don't blow. No, don't blow. Don't do that. Keep your sizzle to yourself, man. All right, screw it. Oh, that was awesome. I don't know if that spider died or not, but it sure went in the anomaly. That was pretty awesome. All right, so we are going to go ahead and... Man, she really wants to play today. My puppy, she's about, I don't know, nine, ten weeks old now. She's a little schnauzer pup. And she... Okay, okay. And she really wants to play, but I've got my Siberian Husky who's actually trying to play with her right now. And I don't know if she's trying to get away or what she's doing, but she is jumping on me like crazy. Okay, okay. Um, let's move the shovel out of the way. <laughs> oh, hi. Okay, come say hi. Okay, say hi to everybody. Okay, you saying hi? Okay, go play with Ashford. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I love her to death, and man, that dog can basically do whatever she wants, and I will let her do it. She is absolutely adorable. Uh, let's see. Dude, get off. Did I... Aw, oh, man, I put that in the wrong height, but it's okay, I got dirt. Okay. Then we're going to put you here, right? <clears throat> and I right-click with the empty hand. I put you in there. I put you on here. And we hope for the best. Oh, it disappeared. That's a good sign. That's a good sign, right? That it disappeared. You need to leave me alone, okay? <clears throat> oh, those stupid poison freaking butterfly things all right so hopefully all went well either that or i completely just destroyed that anomaly but i swear it worked in single player mode so it should work i'm i've got high hopes so we're gonna head home and hope for the best we'll be right back all right it's a moment of truth is it there oh it's there we've got it we have our anomaly close by now this is oh did it the anomaly just ate my teleposer. Did you really just eat my teleposer? That is so sad. That thing was not cheap. Oh, I'm so upset about that. But it's okay. We've got our we've got our anomaly close by, so we've got some a good power source up and coming. Um, what we need to do now is we who's freaking out over here? Maybe you shouldn't jump on the essence berries, dude. Shush. Speaking of, I'm going to need more of these. So we can continue to upgrade slow, uh, ro uh, Robo Slider. That's it. Robo Slider. Alright. So now, what we're going to need is... What is it called? Uh, there's a coil... Uh, okay, we're going to need, what, three, six, nine, ten, ten of these. Um, so those are pretty easy. A couple isolinear circuits. So ten, so I'm going to need twenty of those. That's pretty easy to make. I've got the end of pearls. I've got the ingots. Uh, the redstone I've got. Oh, and I get four per. So, okay, so I made ten of those. We're going to need this fusion controller. Oh, so I'm going to need four more. So I'm going to need 14 of those. And then an isolinear circuit two and three this guy is really simple to make we just made that and this guy is glass glowstone okay yeah, yeah that's simple to make um i think i'm gonna make all these parts up and we're just gonna oh you know what? i need the decomposer too that's easy that's the one we're just that's one of those with the, that easy simple simple um that's easy okay oh pistons interesting sticking pistons do i have i have right slime balls Okay, I'm not going to spend a million years uh, recording, building all this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and head up to the workshop. And I'm going to put all this stuff together. And, oh, you know, I should probably go down there and grab the rest of the stuff. I'm going to put all this stuff together. And we're going to go build ourselves a fusion reactor. And, uh, yes, and we're going to be very happy about that. Uh, redstone, a couple of blanks. Uh, i got to blank one of these, a couple of... Alright guys, so we got everything we need, and I've got it all ready to set up. Yes. 
I had to take a little pause there. Um, the dogs were getting a little bit too antsy and just being kind of loud in the background. And so, oh, oh okay, we'll take that piece of dirt. Um, so I know I've got to build this one level up because it's going to be on level with this. And this is the middle. It's one, two, three to the wall in that space. So I believe it has to be right here. I believe. And uh, fortunately, when you place down the controller, it kind of tells you, like, it gives you an outline. So as you can see, there we go. So the outline's up. You can kind of see the outline. Oh, that's perfect. It doesn't actually ha, ha, interfere with anything. Okay, cool. And then also, um, in the process, I made these guys right here, these machine holes. And um, I didn't uh, explain them before, but you need them to complete the build. And uh, needless to say, I did a lot of mining. And also, I got myself a new pickaxe. And the reason I have a new pickaxe is because while trying to uh, set this up earlier, or not set it up, but uh, figure out where I want everything to go, I was I placed this guy down to check on the outline, and as I picked it up, he shot into the anomaly, and I, I lost the controller. But also in the same process, I accidentally hit Q, and I threw my pickaxe into the anomaly as well. But as you can see, it's much higher now. It's like, like what, 65, 43? So I, I guess it you know gained a little, you know, matter so I guess that's advantageous so anyway so I gotta lay a little outline here so I know where I can put all my stuff and where are you at there you go I can't figure out if like I have to be looking at the controller or whatever because these the guide blocks kind of disappear on me from time to time um let's see right there and right there okay so then we're gonna put the matter decomposer right here and then these go in uh, sections of three so one two three um, I don't I don't know if these connect if these connect that's awesome because this will just automatically link into the power system at this point but they don't connect I think it has to connect all the way over here to this guy the fusion controller I believe so <clears throat> we're not too far away from having exactly what we want. Um, am I off here? Oh no, this it just goes here. Okay, cool. And you go there. So we're gonna get this bad boy set up. And as soon as I place this last block, it should say valid structure or something like that. All right, let's see. Moment of truth. Woo, jump up. Come on. Set, okay. Power is 100. It already has power? I thought I had like a throw a battery in there to get this right. Okay, so right now I'm going to get 130 RF per tick. Not too shabby. Uh, we can definitely improve upon that. I need to go get some lead stone so I can connect it over here. And I'll end up filling all this in. So I'm going to go grab some dirt. And, you know, I was going to break away, but there's no need to break away. We can go do this together. I'm going to go get some dirt and fill that area in as well as get some lead stone piping. And I might need to get some uh, higher quality leadstone piping while we're at it. Let's see, lead. Nope. But I'm gonna grab all eight of these because I can make some more. Um, what's the recipe for leadstone? Uh, there it is, right there. Um, redstone and some glass. Okay. So I need four pieces. Of, oh, I got two. And redstone I should have plenty of because I just got a whole bunch while mining. Uh, I'm going to need like 12 total. I don't know how many I just grabbed, but there should be at least 12. Yep. Alrighty. Oh, I need dirt too. Yes, dirt. So I can make the area pretty, apparently, because that's what you're supposed to do in Minecraft. You're supposed to make stuff pretty, right? Alright. And you go like that. Alright, so that gives me 12. I think that should be enough. And let's grab some dirt to fill this in. Do I have no dirt? I have no dirt? How is that even possible? How is that even possible? Oh, that's right. I spent it to get all the diamonds earlier. That's right, when I first started using the Matter Decomposer. Well, let's go ahead and... It's not going to be pretty for right now. I'll go ahead and clean this area up. Let me go ahead and get some dirt collected here. So I can fill in the ground as well as it feels like a storm's a brewing 
I mean, it's raining. And that that thing starts to look like it's funneling over there, which I don't like the look of, but you know. All right, so we're gonna take you and go straight under to here. All right? Yes. Now, hopefully, you connect. Yes, you do. Wait, what is this right here? It's different. These are different pipes. YLA is off. Why is YLA off? YLA, uh, visible. There we go. That's leadstone flux duct. That's hardened flux duct. Okay. One of those is probably better than the other, I'm assuming. Ooh, I hear a hurricane of brewing. I can hear it. I can hear it. I don't like hearing it. All right, so let's make sure we got some power going on here. Do you have power? Okay, let's throw some of you in here. Let's see if you start. Oh, you're not getting a charge. Why are you not getting a charge? Is there no charge coming from my power station right now? We should. Yeah, it's got a full charge. It's fully amped up. So you should be charging, right? Hold on. I've got my battery in me. I know the battery will get it started. So let me go to my station over here, get my battery. Man, it's kind of annoying when stuff doesn't work quite right. All right, just need a little bit of power. Let me go run and throw this in there real quick and see if that gets it going. It's not taking power. Oh, 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 I know. It's because I need to start the decomposer. Let me see if I can just do this. <clears throat> but, oh, I didn't realize that that was the end of my leadstone. Darn it. Okay. Whoa. Hey. Crazy. I've never had, like, lightning hit right next to me like that before. Okay. So that's going to start pumping matter in. And then this should start working, yeah. Matter's building up. And it's going to automatically charge this thing, right? Yeah, it is putting power into it. Okay. All right, so we, we look like we're good to go. It looks like it is started. Um, so let's go ahead and finish filling this in. And I think... I mean, I think that's probably it for right now. I, I The power station is set up. We've got, you know, what we came for. <clears throat> We've got our power station. It is currently, you know, breaking down dirt or whatever, slowly. It's not really putting out a big charge yet or whatever. Let's see what we're yielding here, though. It's got some backed up here, so it's backing up matter. Okay. Once, let's go ahead and run these out and see if it starts charging up. Okay, it is charging up. Sweet! It also should be pulling from this, shouldn't it? Oh, no, because that thing's not directly connected, so it's not even pulling from this system. All right, I think we are good to go. <clears throat> now I can actually start setting up a legitimate, you know, a workshop with uh, all the uh, thermal expansion stuff and get that all set up. And I can finally get these two blocks ridiculously just hanging out in front of the building put away. And I think we should be good to go. This little guy, man, he's, he's doing wonders for me. I think I might go do a little bit of mining and come back and kind of amp this guy up a little bit. So we'll see how that goes. So... Uh, yeah, we'll take a little break right here. I'll come back. We'll fill this guy up and try to, you know, max it out. We'll see what we can get from it. All right, so there's one other thing I want to do is I want to test out how efficient the system really is. So I'm going to go ahead, and I remember we had set this up for the decomposer last time, so I know this will work. Um, grab you, and then I should have a servo in here. Yes. Because what we're going to do is go ahead and uh, connect a chest so I can just automatically pump matter into the system. <clears throat> because apparently that's what yields the power. And then also, I want to see how much more power we can get this thing to generate. Because you see right now, how does it say? Um, let me see at the top. All right, so the mass is 6549. <clears throat> and break level 0. 0.2. I wonder if we get it up to 1, it starts breaking the blocks. Or I wonder. That's curious. Oh, oh, I'm like stuck. Get out of there. Okay. And I did think about a great way to like... You know, start feeding mobs into this thing. I don't know. Come on. 
let's see if that really added much. 6549. Whoa! No! Come on! How did the creeper get in there and not get sucked in? Come on, man. How did he get in there? Hopefully not too much. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I really want this. I really want this. No, get away. Get away. Oh, it's just all havoc right now. Come on. I want this. I'm not full of frick. I'm just so frustrated right now. It always, always, without fail, just chaos. Okay. None. Okay. Whoo. None of this block. Okay. 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 I'm, I'm still happy with this. Okay. So we're going to finish filling this back in. Hopefully the creepers leave me alone now. There we go. And we're going to test this theory out of how much power we can start uh, yielding with this. Because I might just go do power mining over the next uh, day or two and just get a whole bunch of material. Come on, suck them in there. There we go. Keep them away from me. And we'll see how much power we can really generate with this thing. All right. So if remember, it was what, one, 130 ticks. All right, and I've got some stored power in it with a little bit, okay. So the whole point was, we were gonna put this guy on here and put this chest on here. There we go. And then throw some blocks in here and the servo to automatic extract. There we go. And then these should start pumping in four at a time there we go and it's gonna start burning up the matter and it's putting out enough that we're not even getting a variance in power there and then that means that this should actually be increasing which it is oh no it's decreasing oh it's decreasing because it's actually using the power to run this guy which is fine because my matter is going up and that's that's what matters okay cool so there's that and then now, if we look at this guy right here, it's 65, 69 now. Let's throw a couple stacks of dirt in this. And now I'm up to 6803. Okay, okay. So, yeah, I, I think we'll do some power mining um, in between now and next episode. And we'll try to get this thing built up pretty big. And we'll see how that works out. But, uh, yeah. Oh, and it's up to 135 RF per tick. So, it increased a little bit with just a couple stacks of uh, dirt. So I'm digging on this. I'm really digging on this. I think that we're going to have one heck of a power station once it's done. And I'm going to incorporate all of this into the build itself. And the power station will make a whole lot more sense. And I might reverse these blocks and put them over there so you can vi visualize them on that side. I don't know. We'll see. But until next time, guys, I'm Slider Havoc. This is an unofficial Revenge of the Sea Team server. And I'm out of here. Peace.